The battle that you believe cannot be won is happening right now in Maryland. Let's make the wealthy pay their fair share. Did, did he just say make the wealthy pay their fair share? Okay, no, he did. Okay, no, I, I was just checking. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I want to listen now. Thank you. Across religions, races, professions, and all other divisions, people are uniting. Let's make the wealthy pay their fair share. Can you rise up right now and join us? Let's make the wealthy pay their fair share. We are addressing as a collective, a policy proposal. That's right. We are playing their game and meeting them where they are at. Now make no mistake, this is no regular attempt. We have over a hundred plus signatures representing a network of organizations with advocates saying enough is enough. Here's why. There is not enough money to keep all the things we count on running like they should. I don't even have to name them, it's an exhaustive list, but think about it. Schools, parks, and even the roads we drive on could get hit hard. By 2028, we are looking at being in the hole for more than $3 billion if we do not do something about it. Here's where you come in. I don't want your money. I want your voice. The fair share of Maryland plan. This isn't just a policy proposal. It is a call to arms for equity, sustainability, and justice. You see, by restructuring the state income tax, closing corporate loopholes, and expanding the vital tax credits, we aim to ensure that every Marylander contributes to their fair share towards our common future. History tells us that we have been the ones to keep accountability to our leaders and the wealthy. The abuses of power can no longer exist because we are literally at a breaking point for our state. The tide is turning. The wealthiest among us and corporations that have benefited from our economy should contribute proportionately to the society that has enabled their success. In the words of the poet Rihanna, I better have my money.